It's now been 25 years since the Bhopal gas tragedy that claimed thousands of lives. And it's not just about remembering and revisiting an event that changed that region forever, but about reporting a live and still ongoing tragedy. In our special series on reports from Ground Zero, today we're looking at a political corporate cover-up game that became the biggest obstacle in bringing justice. Rubina Khan Shapu tells us more. A deadly disaster took place in Bhopal as a, a classroom lesson on Bhopal's gas massacre. But 25 years later, will the younger generation ever know that behind these deaths of thousands lie a conspiracy of silence, both by the Union Carbide and the government? Take a look at this evidence. In 1981, after his friend Ashraf, a Union Carbide employee, died of deadly phosphine gas exposure, Keswani, a journalist and former NDTV colleague, in a series of articles, warns of severe safety lapses within the carbide plant. His final article, Bhopal, sitting on top of a volcano, is published in Jansatta just six months before the tragedy occurs. The issue is even raised in the state assembly. What's more, in March 1983, Shah Nawaz Khan, an advocate, serves a legal notice to the Union Carbide plant, pointing out lapses. Unavailable to comment. While Congress leader Digvijay Singh, who was a state irrigation minister then, speaks but is quick to dismiss the evidence. Is there any sense of taking a moral responsibility 25 years later by the ruling party of that time? I am not privy to <clears throat> the record at the moment. Uh, that what kind of warnings were given, who gave those warnings. I don't think uh, any serious warning came to light. And fixing its responsibility or accountability is just uh, not possible. Harder to fix responsibility as the commission, headed by Justice N.K. Singh, set up just four days after the gas leak to establish the causes of the disaster is abruptly wound up. Why this unease with the commission? Perhaps because its findings would have revealed the proximity of the Union Carbide officials and the government and their negligence, which is why 25 years later, we're still waiting for real justice. In Bhopal with Rubina Khan Shapu, Radhika Bodia for NDTV.